everyone. Happy Thursday. I think it's almost 4 o'clock. I got off work at 3.30 and I just got back from taking Remy on a walk. Um, I'm going to be meeting up with my friend Liz in a few hours to do our grocery shopping. If you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I posted a video of us shopping at Target for like Christmas stuff and we had so much fun that we decided that we would just do our grocery shopping together because why not? I honestly love grocery shopping at Target. I just think it's fun. It's like a nice, like just, I don't know, it's relaxing to me. It's like nice to get away from the house and go grocery shopping, but it's even more fun when you have a friend. So we're meeting today, but before I meet with her, I really wanted to clean out my fridge. Um, it's always nicer to come home with a clean, you know, have a clean fridge to put all your stuff away and it's more organized that way. Um, I just want to get rid of all the like old food that's in there from like Thanksgiving and whatnot. Um, and just make some room. I also need to clean my kitchen. Um, I have a sink full of dishes. I need to empty my dishwasher. I need to just clean in general. I'm sure you can see there's all kinds of stuff behind me. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do some laundry and I'm going to try and do it quickly so that I can do my hair because I'm not wearing it out like this. Um, so I thought I would show you guys what my fridge looked like before. Someone had asked me if I would show a video on me cleaning my fridge. I don't know how much interest people have in that. If you're interested in like seeing me actually clean my fridge, let me know. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you before and after. So here's my refrigerator. How exciting. Um, yeah. I just have some eggs and condiments and some leftover food from when we went to Longhorn Steakhouse. That's probably not going to get eaten. Um, some old food, some Thanksgiving leftovers, um, this is where our soda or just regular cans go normally, but we are all out. We have a ton of eggnog and milk in case you ever get thirsty for eggnog or milk. Um, my husband has some beer back there, just some rando stuff. I have these drawers that I use to store all of my veggies, but I feel like my veggies go bad faster in the drawers. I don't know if they're on the wrong, like, setting. Um, you guys let me know if you know what setting they're supposed to be on. Um, and then the door, just some like random stuff here. Oh, that's a coffee that I never drank because I don't really drink caffeine. I'm probably going to give it to my husband. I was going to drink this, I talked about this, I was going to drink this on Black Friday. But I just don't do caffeine anymore and I just figured it'd probably give me the jitters. So I'll tell David he can have that. Some more condiments, some more condiments that we use on like a more daily basis. Um, some juice that I got to go with some champagne because that's like the best mix ever. This um, blueberry juice with champagne, yummo. And I just have some more drinks. This is a like, spark sparkling ice lemonade. These are good, but they make me hungry. I don't know <laughs> what it is that's in them, but they always make me feel like I'm starving to death after I drink them. I have a pitcher that has like a drop of tea left that I need to clean and make some more tea. And then this I found at Total Wine and More not too long ago. This is a Shirley Temple flavored soft drink. I love Shirley Temples. At my wedding, that's all I ordered from the bar was Shirley Temples. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. So when I saw they had the soda at Total Wine and More, the first time around I saw it and didn't get it, but then when I went back, I had to buy it. So that has been sitting there for a special occasion. I don't know when I'm going to drink that. So that's my fridge. That's what it looks like before I clean it. And there's Remy. <laughs> She's just chilling. She always has to be right next to me. <laughs> and here's my little Christmas um, rug that I got at Kohl's. So yeah, time to get cleaning. Alright, my fridge is all cleaned out. I got rid of most of the old food. Um, I think most of that we're probably going to toss anyway, but I want to make sure my husband before I throw it away and he has a heart attack. Um, so yeah, I pretty much just organized it a little bit better, cleaned the shelves, I washed these shelves with soap and sponge and the sink, I made a fresh batch of sweet tea, so my husband will be very happy when he gets home. I cleaned out my pantry yesterday, so that's all ready to go, and then I have my, I have lots of recyclables to take to the trash. Then I have my coupons and my target list, and I am feeling very ready for today's shopping trip. So now um, I have some other things to do, and then I need to get ready and then head out to Target. Well, now that I'm done cleaning the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and put this um, welcome mat out by our front door. The one that we had there, um, that we had there for a while, got ruined. So I just threw it in the trash, and I got this one. 
But there's kind of a story about this mat. Um, so in the fall time, I had seen this, I guess, it, I don't think it was like a pumpkin. It was super cute. I loved it. Um, I think if, you, if you're subscribed to Being Mommy with Style, she actually bought the welcome mat in fall. And I saw it, and I thought, you know, I'll wait. Maybe it'll go on sale. And they never got it back in stock. Or if they did, it, I was just not quick enough to get it. So I saw this one around Christmas time, and I told myself, oh, that's so cute. But I happened to see it at a store that was like an hour and a half away. And I figured, well, I'm going to Target by our house tomorrow. I might as well just wait and get it then. So... Then we went to Target and they had it, but I wasn't sure that it was the right one. I thought it was a little bit different. So I was like, well, I don't think that's the one. I'll just wait. What happened to be the one? And I have not been able to find it at any store at Target. And I am like, are you serious? Like, I've gone through this twice now. What the heck? I just want this welcome mat. Well, this week they're on sale for $10 at Target. And I was going to order something online. So I tried to see if they had this online. You couldn't order it online. However, you could order it and like pick it up in the store. But they didn't have any in stock in my store. So the next day I happened just to check again and they did have it in stock. So I ran to my store and there was three left and I picked it up. So I'm very happy to have it. I haven't put it out yet because I need to sweep my um, front door area. The people who normally come by and like blow everything and you know clean up around here haven't been here in a while. So I need to do that and I just every time I think to put this out it's dark and I don't want to go out there in the dark. So. I'm going to take care of that and I'm going to stop rambling about this dang mat. It looks so good. I'm getting ready to head out, but before I do, I thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the day. Um, I guess outfit of the night. This is the first time I've been dressed all day. I pretty much just been hanging out in my pajamas. I work from home, so I really don't get up and put jeans on and a nice shirt. I get up and put sweatpants on and a tank top. Um, so... This is what I'm wearing to Target. I have on this um, button-down shirt. It's really flowy and, I don't know, I just like the way that it feels. Um, I've been a little insecure about the way I look lately because I've put on a few pounds. So it's nice to kind of have a flowy top. It just makes me feel better. So I got this top from New York & Company. I have on a gray tank top from New York & Company. I have on my Alex Anani bracelets. I have on these jeans. I'm not sure what brand they are, um, but they fit me really nice. I got them at the Goodwill Boutique for 9 bucks, and then I just have on some black flip-flops. And that is my outfit, and now let's go try it. Really? Well, look who it is. <laughs> you texted me, what, like an hour and a half ago and told me Listen, about... Listen, I had cartwheels. I had to go. <laughs> She's been here for... How long have you been here for? I don't want to go home and clean my house. She texted me like an hour and a half ago about something that they had at Target. It wasn't an hour and a half. And then I got here and she's still it? here. What it's like 6 o'clock. I've only been here an hour. Those are cute. Thank you. They're for the craft for an ornament swap. Cute. Who are you doing an ornament swap with? Really? Saturday? 4 o'clock? Oh. Be there? Yeah. Well, that's an ornament exchange. A swamp and exchange of the tandem. <laughs> you don't have very much for being here for so long. I, I came to get artichoke bottoms. They don't have them anymore. You're very nosy. Hey, you're very nosy. I had Starbucks. to get the new, yes, the, I had to get another cookie cutter because we're having a surprise guest for Christmas and I bought some stocking stuffers and a little something for you. Oh, where is it? It's a funny haha. -ha. Oh, geez. I'm nervous. Funny haha. -ha. Well, Liz forgot her wallet, so we're here waiting on her. To grocery shop. So I'm the, the fill in. I'm the killing time. <laughs> yeah. If Liz was here, she wouldn't have dragged me down. <laughs> they would have avoided me like the plague. Liz has go. made it. <laughs> She's having a horrible night I'm so far. A night. She lost her wallet. No, okay, tell them what happened. Okay, first, I go to clock out of work, and like, you know that feeling where you realize you forgot something and like your heart sinks and you're just like, shit, sorry. <laughs> Shit. Nice. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's just true. And because what happened was, I went to pay my cable bill today, and I, we have a, like a card for bills and then like a card for like our own. And I left that card on the table because I paid the cable right before I left. So I left it on the table. So now my grocery money is limited to the money I have in my account, which isn't very much. It's like $50 bill and like $30 in my account. So I really have to stick to my budget. And then we get in here and like we go to Starbucks, and like I'm looking for my wallet. I'm like, Great, like why? It's sitting in my car, so I had to run out to my car. 
it's a good Thursday night for list. <laughs> at least you have your list. Yeah, at least I have my list. There you go. That's that. We got our Starbucks. I like inhaled mine, and now we're getting down to What'd business. You get? I got a caramel white mocha decaf. It's a, it's a big, it's a long word. <laughs> it's a long order. Do you want to be on Hi. Okay. Well, we were in Target for, let's see, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Two hours. That's not bad. That's not. Compared not bad. to like what, or four hours that we did? Three and a half. I didn't film much. Let me guys, let me know if you guys want to see more of our actual shopping. But we did good. I had a hundred dollar budget and I was at 99.37 and Liz had what, like an 80 dollar <laughs> budget? budget? And you were yeah, what? I got out of there at 60 after all my cartwheels and stuff. So. That's good. Yeah, I saved 18. I saved, saved seven. So, I'm we did good. I'm gonna do a grocery haul. Yeah, so go check out her channel. Do that. And I'm gonna do a grocery haul when I get home. So just mm. keep watching. All right, so here is my grocery haul. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, like I said, I spent just over $100, which I was very happy about because that's about what I wanted to spend. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but we had to lower our budget, our food budget a little bit this paycheck just because um, we had a couple extra bills we had to pay this time around. Like my husband needed to get his tag renewed and things like that. So I tried to stick to budget this pay period. Um, I met, I meal planned and that really helps me to stay on budget because then I know exactly what I need and I know exactly what I have and it just works so much better when you meal plan. So anyway, I'm going to start over here. Um, I got some hamburger buns, I got some hot dog buns, and I also got some taco shells. I got some Toll House morsels to make chocolate chip cookies. I got two cans of Manwich, they were on sale 95 cents a piece. I got some salt and vinegar chips. Those are like my favorite thing on earth. Um, I got some Frenchies, French fried onions for my husband. He did not make the green bean casserole this year because um, someone gave us some to take to my family's house and he did not like it. So I got him some of this so that he can make his own and be happy. And then I got him some of the box mashed potatoes for a recipe. Um, I have some of the buffalo wing pretzel crisps which are also amazing. I have a case of caffeine free soda and a case of Mountain Dew. I actually had a free product coupon for the Coke. If you do the My Coke Rewards, you can trade your codes in for free soda. So that's what I did for that. So that was free. I got some, I don't know, I'm like looking through the <laughs> the um, back of the screen so I don't really know what I'm grabbing. My depth perception is off. I got some Hershey's syrup. There was a cartwheel for that. I got some Riceroni fried rice. I am trying a new orange chicken crock pot recipe that I saw on Pinterest, so I got that to go along with it. And then for that recipe as well, I needed soy sauce, which I have never had soy sauce before in my life, so I have no idea what this tastes like, but I got that. I got a big thing of caffeine-free soda. My mom's having um, a party this weekend, and I know that there's not going to be caffeine-free soda, so I went ahead and brought my own so they could bring it with me and know that I would um, have what I like to drink. I got a head of lettuce. I got a tomato. I got some of the Lando Lakes butter. This is the kind of butter that we like. Um, I got a few things for my husband's stocking. I got these um, air fresheners, and I got him this little Nutella to-go. I will be doing a men's stocking stuffer guide very soon on my channel. I've done one the past two years, so I will have one coming up soon. I got some hot dogs. There's a 20% off cartwheel on these. I got some broccoli for a recipe. I got some of these flaky layers um, biscuits. My husband really likes these. I got some crescents to go with a dinner one night. I got these two DiGiorno pizzas. My husband and I always end up ordering Papa John's pizza whenever we're just like not in the mood to cook and we just want something fast. So I figured I would get these. They were two for 10. Um, that way when we want pizza, we can just get it and, um, you know, pretty much pay 50% less than what we would if we went to Papa John's. So I got those two. I got a thing of eggs. We're bringing, I'm bringing devil eggs to my mom's ornament exchange. So I got some eggs for that. I got two things of ground beef. Um, there was a cartwheel for Market Pantry. Everything Market Pantry was 10% off, which was great. I got some um, hamburger patties, and I also got a thing of chicken. Um, I just tried the Market Pantry chicken for the first time last week, and I thought it was really good, so I went ahead and got some more of that. Um, the last thing that I got that was not part of our grocery budget, which I did pay with grocery money for it, 
So really if you think about it, I was like $13 less than what I really should have been. Or I paid $13 more than what it should have been. But anyway, I got this advent calendar. It was on sale 50% off. Um, and I've been wanting an advent calendar for the longest time. It has little drawers that open. Like I said, it was 50% off, so I think it was like $12.50. Um, and I thought this one was really cute. It kind of fits my decor, so I'm happy about that. And that is everything that I got at Target. If you want to see Liz's grocery haul, I will make sure to link her channel so you can go check it out and subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. My husband and I are going to go walk the doggy and hit the hay. Um, tomorrow I will be vlogging again, and I'm going to start wrapping some Christmas presents, so that will probably be fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of us vlogging in the grocery store, because it could become like an every two-week thing. It could be like my Thursday video is Liz and I grocery shopping. So let me know what you guys like to see and I hope that you all had a wonderful Thursday. Happy Friday if you're watching this on Friday and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!